tonight. Ontario in New York, CSFM. We're talking about um, date rape with uh, Renewal House from St. Lawrence Valley. Um, if, if you think that something has happened to you, what are your options now? What do you have to do first? If you're a victim of sexual assault, um, the first and most important thing is to get to a safe place. Mm -hmm. um, it's also important not to shower, not to um, brush your teeth, not to change your clothes. All of those um, could possibly have evidence um, when you, you know, go to the hospital and, and have a same exam. Now, now, if you get home and it's like, you know what, I just want to take a shower, go to bed, and then you get up the next day and, and you're, you still think you need to do something, is it too late? Can you still do anything? No, it, there's still an option. You're just, um, when you do do those things, you're, you're losing evidence, but they can take, um, you can do a rape exam for, I think, up to 98 hours, something around five days, but every day that you wait, you're losing evidence. And the, the thing about it is that just because you decide to go to the hospital, all, it can be a really difficult decision, and we respect that, but when they collect the evidence, you at least have it. And you don't have to report it to the police, not right away. You have, most hospitals will at least keep the evidence for up to 30 days and some up to 90 days. Mm -hmm. And you can always ask whatever hospital you're at what that level is at for you. But if you just get the evidence collected, you have all that time to make that decision where if you wait to do the exam, that's when you're losing the evidence. But you can do it, they say up to five days, but the chances of mm -hmm. them collecting something helpful become less and less. Should you call the police? Should you go to the emergency room or call Renewal House? Um, you could also you could do all three. Um, oh. If you did start by calling Renewal House, um, we do also have a SANE program, which is a sexual assault nurse examiner. Um, so we do have people who are specialized in performing um, forensic rape exams. Oh. We do the dispatch for those nurses. Um, we're also there as an advocate with you in the hospital if you choose to. If you choose to call the police, we'll go there with you. Um, basically, if you start with calling Renewal House, we can give you all of the options that are available for you. But obviously, if your condition is severe, we, you know, would recommend that you go immediately to the emergency room. Now, what if your parents have a teenager? What are your options in that aspect? You can, a, a parent can absolutely bring their teenager to the hospital. It's mm -hmm. the same thing. Um, mm -hmm. And renewal house advocates will still go with you. I mean, we can talk to not just the victim, but also the parents as well as secondary victims right. dealing with the fact that <clears throat> their child has been assaulted. Right. So um, you can still bring them and seek the same options. Like it's you know it's up to you and whatever you're comfortable with. Like Tessa said, if you if you call Renewal House, we can get you um, a sane nurse to whatever mm -hmm. hospital you go to in St. Lawrence County, and we can also attend if you want us to and mm -hmm. sit through the exam with you or just be there to talk afterwards and talk to the parents. And if you want to call the cops, sometimes they can even come to the hospital. But if you want to do that at a later date, that's an option too, and we'll set that up for you after. If you're a minor under age um, and you're not getting the parental cooperation, they're saying, well, you know, you're, you're wearing that low-cut outfit, you, should, you know, you pretty much asked for it. Um, what can you do then if you're underage? You can still go. You can uh -huh. still go to, um, to a hospital. They have to provide you medical care. We can still um, be okay. with you as an advocate for Renewal House. And part of the program that we do, the same program, like a forensic rape exam, it's covered by CVB, or I'm sorry, OVS now, um, Office of Victim Services. So that's not something that would necessarily show up on your insurance if you're concerned about being on your parents' insurance. And you can always um, call Renewal House and talk to an advocate even after hours if this is something that happened, not, you know, during the day. I just want to comment that um, even though it is a low-cut shirt or a, a short skirt, right, it right. really um, doesn't matter. No one deserves uh -huh. to be sexually assaulted. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> this is what happens when you wake up so early in the morning. It's like, this is really good. And then you totally forget it. And also, oh. it's very important to always, um, first and foremost, trust the victim yeah. and listen to what they're saying. Are there long-term effects if, if you don't deal with this? Is this something that, that you need counseling for after the attack? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, Victims of sexual abuse tend to go in stages. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Initially, they're in a crisis period, which can last about six weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, the second stage can be where they kind of want to push it off. I mean, it does consume your life. If it's right. your every thought, it becomes exhausting and paralyzing to a victim. So sometimes the second stage, they want to push it off and forget about it, and they stop talking about it. Sometimes they even stop coming to see us, and we completely respect that. 
usually after a while what they hit um, is a period where they're going through triggers where whatever the um, assaulter was uh -huh. wearing or maybe a cologne something like that so let's say they're just walking down the street they're not necessarily seeing that person but if they smell what that person was wearing if they see a shirt that looks similar now they're going into triggers where they see that and they start to remember the assault in great detail and we're always there through that whole process when you want to see us when you don't when you need our help when you want to go forward um, but it gets to it's always going to be a part of your life but it does get to a point where hopefully it becomes a part of your past and you know it's always you're always going to be a victim of that but you know you're going to be a survivor someday too and get to that point um, yeah. but you go through stages and it's hard and that's what we want to be there for and the counseling is something that you offer Absolutely, we do. At our office, we do home visits. Um, we do off-site visits at a neutral location. It's whatever's going to work best for the victim. Mm -hmm. All right, talking uh, Denim Day and also the Mother's Day Fun Run Walk. That's coming up next at 716. Adele set fire to the rain at YesFM.